for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel so cancer for the recent past energy between you and your person well we got the king of pentacles and the knight of wands the king of pentacles it actually speaks of authority tradition could be success with money matters because when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot that means money cash coins finance income so when this card appears in a reading as it is it's a sign that now is not really the time to be a maverick but it would be the time to follow the established way of doing things also when this stands for actual person in your life uh, maybe a man in your life it's referring to a very masculine type. He could have hearing eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if this is a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now it's with a Knight of Wands, which is showing a great time for travel if you can manage to get away, because you'll be feeling charged up full of energy ready to get things done your self-confidence is likely to be increasing which would help reach towards any goals that you have the knights they are often message bearers and the messages they're likely to be positive could be related to work or career or personally any projects that you have they'll be moving right along more successfully than you would have expected or predicted so basically, the recent past energy between you and your person, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, what I'm getting is that a lot of you cancers, there's this person that you're dealing with. Uh, you want success with this person. Yeah. You want. You want it to be stable, because this King of Pentacles is about stability. Um, the King of Pentacles, this person makes a really good father. Very secure and committed. Could be career focused. This is how you're feeling about your person. You want success in this connection. You want it to be stable and secure. But you sometimes you feel like maybe you should have just one foot in and one foot out. So I'm getting that a lot of you, you're not, not too sure about this person. Or maybe you're not sure because they're kind of in and out. Sometimes they're here with you and then sometimes they're there somewhere else. Yeah, but you do want success with this person. You're looking for stability. So, yeah, this Knight of Wands could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident type, fearless and brave. Yeah, that's who you're dealing. That's what you're dealing with. Someone that's kind of in and out, or you feel like. Maybe you should be just having one foot in and one foot out. Yeah, maybe you're not sure, but you know that you do want success with this person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up. Well, we got the Page of Swords ends with the Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords. It can stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Yeah, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's student, that's youth, it could be immaturity, or maybe someone younger than you. It does indicate that a message is coming. Now, in this instance because it's a page and he has a huge sword in his hand it's probably not what you're hoping to hear it tells you that the person they may be trying too hard pushing too fast 
or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language and figure out how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism from others. Yeah, this page of swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. The page of swords brings conflict. Now, it's with this two of pentacles. Two of pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind, so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend as the two of pentacles. Yes, yeah, so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on so maybe just two main priorities. Could be your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you want to be sure that you're paying attention there. So basically what we got coming up, like I said, the Page of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person that you're involved with, like I said, you want success in this connection. You feel like you're two in and out, back and forth. Or you feel like you need to be that way with this person. But you want success. The thing is that you probably find out or realize coming up that uh, they're, they're just too immature for you. Yeah, this person, they might keep tabs on you. They might stalk you or watch you a lot. And maybe they like to fight a lot. Maybe they like to argue. They bring conflict. And then you, you probably just realize that it's too much back and forth. Too much. They're kind of like all over the place. Yeah, that's what this Two of Pentacles says. They juggle. So you, could, you might realize that your person, they got too much going on. You could feel like they, it seems like they always have trouble finding time and energy for the connection. Yeah. And then there's conflict. They bring drama. They bring, bring some drama because they're the Page of Swords. Yep, so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the challenge. Now, we got the Page of Cups and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Cups is actually showing there's a need to play, dream, have a little fun. It can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. The first is important and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. Now it's with the, pay, the Nine of Pentacles. It's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, you're over for a while, and that things, things in general will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So, basically the challenge page of cups with the nine of pentacles. So... It looks like, like I said, you realize that this person is, they bring drama, they bring conflict, they're kind of all over the place. You did want success with this person. Yeah, but you just realize it's just, it's just a lot of drama. And then they, they don't really make time and energy for the connection. You're looking for a good relationship. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is about, it's about a good relationship. So you might realize that maybe you just need to loosen up and hang loose. Just have some fun. Probably not with this person. Yeah. You're looking for something good. If it's not a relationship, a lot of you are just looking for 
for you, maybe your worries or problems be to be over for a while. And so you realize that you need you need some fun, maybe some excitement in your life. But but you want good. You want it to be good in the way that you want or think that things should be, or how you want it. But you know you don't want this in and out type of energy. Yeah, your person may probably juggle. Maybe between you and someone else or other people. Yeah, you feel like they don't have the time and energy for you. So, yeah, at one point you did want success with this person. But now you realize that you, you, you need something better. Yeah, you need the nine of pentacles. If not the ten, you'll take the nine. But this person, they don't even give you that. They probably, they give, they're giving you the Two of Pentacles. That means they're all over the place. Yeah, so. That's your challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got for the outcome. We got the Hierophant and Six of Cups. Now the Hierophant, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When you're called on for help or advice with some important matters, your intelligence, your empathy, puts you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you, or it could be someone that you know, they're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers. They're marked by integrity. They're the real deal, a genuine article, a true blue. Highly admired individuals, they walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, to the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is actually a card about nostalgia. You know, looking back on how things used to be, it can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's going to be important for you to not spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, so this Six of Cups, it can be about needing to refocus towards the future. So basically, the outcome, Cancer, Hierophant in Six of Cups, it's clarified with. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, because things are not going like you want to with this person. It looks like you might start to reminisce and just think about how things used to be. Because like, like I said, you're looking for your, at least the nine of pentacles. This person is only giving you two. Ten is the tops. But you'll take a nine. But you right now, this person is just giving you two. They're in and out all over the place. They bring conflict and drama. Yeah, so you start to look back. And reminisce and think about, I don't know if you're thinking about your childhood. For a lot of you, that's what you're doing. Thinking about how good things used to be a long time ago. Or maybe with someone from the past. Thinking about how good things were with a person that you used to know or a situation. Yeah, this, this connection that you're in with your person is going to cause you to to just think about how things used to be. Yeah, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, it was really good in the past for you. But my eyes, they're kind of fixed on these two people that are bowing down to the Hierophant. So, for most of you, it's, it's saying that I'm, well, I'm picking up that for most of you. You might 
Well, a lot of you, um, were you spirit? Did you used to be spiritual? Did you used to be religious? Um, have a lot of you fallen away from Christianity or your spiritual side? Because it looks like you're looking back on when you were tapped into your spirituality. Because I don't know, my eyes keep staring at these two people that are bowing down to the higher fit. Yeah, so it looks like for a lot of you it's saying you remember that that's where you were more happy. You were most happy with life and your situation. It has something to do with morality, the traditional, being ethical and moral. So, if you're not looking back on your when you were very spiritual, it's saying that that's maybe the direction you need to go, tap into your spiritual side. Yeah, but for a lot of you, you're looking back on when you used to be maybe a Christian, and a lot of you have haven't tapped into that side of you lately. But it's saying you might want to go back that in that direction. Yeah, because you realize that life was better then. Yeah, because you were more focused on um, being moral and ethical or bringing that type of energy into your life. So, yeah. I'm getting another storyline though. For some of you with the Six of Cups, it can be, it can mean the reappearance of an old lover. So you could be thinking about somebody from the past and just thinking about how great it was. It felt like it was the real deal. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to dial this person up, but yeah, you're looking back, being very nostalgic. So Cancer... That is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? It's few weeks. It's few weeks. It's few weeks. It's few weeks. It's few weeks.